Hi, my name is Rob, and I'll be guiding you through this overview of how a typical hydraulic system operates. I'm hoping to accomplish two things here. First, I want to help you understand what happens in a basic hydraulic circuit. And second, well, I want to get you to sign up for our basic hydraulics course. This circuit, like most hydraulic circuits, is all about transmitting power. In particular, we want to transmit power from here at the electric motor up to the conveyor's drive gear, which will turn the conveyor and move the load. To get things started, we'll turn on the electric motor. As the shaft of the electric motor turns, it drives the hydraulic pump. And as the pump operates, hydraulic fluid, typically some kind of oil, is pushed from the reservoir into the pump. Now exactly how that happens is, well, it's one of those things we cover in the basic hydraulics course. The hydraulic pump pushes the hydraulic fluid into the piping. In this circuit, fluid goes to three places just about simultaneously. The fluid goes to the pressure relief valve, the pressure gauge, and the hydraulic manifold. The pressure gauge shows us the hydraulic system's pressure. The pressure gauge has a needle that moves up and down as the hydraulic pressure goes up and down. The relief valve is a safety device. If the system pressure gets too high, instead of having a line break or a fitting split, hydraulic fluid spills over the relief valve and back to the tank. The manifold is a block of metal with internal passageways drilled through it. Those passageways simplify the plumbing of the return line and the pressure line. 